Hey everybody, it's Check the Effects coming at you with another Minecraft tutorial, and today we're continuing on with the Smart Rail series in regards to the additional features that we were talking about in our previous tutorial. If you haven't seen that, please go check it out. Uh, we want to go back to one of the features that we were talking about last time, or actually in the tutorial before the last one, because the tutorial before the last one, before this one here, was about aesthetics. It had to do with uh, the aesthetics of you know going into with the uh, intersection that had a tunnel system as well as going off with a system that is uh, over the ground. Now in the case of an above ground system, the one where we talked about last time which we had the uh, rail rays on in a little like, type of bridge type of thing. Uh, check out the previous tutorial in regards to that. But if in case of that one, what you want to do is for the intersection you want to make sure that it's closed up. So let's take a look at what we have right now. And you can see is the tunnel section here, it's uh, pretty well covered. This works for underground. However, if you did this above ground, this doesn't look really that great. You might want to try and put this inside of a building of some sort. Uh, whatever style you want to use is up to you. I, I typically use HNT station style, which is why I prefer having it like this. But uh, it's up to you how you want to do it. Uh, you know, so you know, might, might want to come up with a few ideas for that. Um, I can probably come up with some ideas. If you guys want to see some ideas on what to do with this in the overworld, please go ahead and do that. What I've done here is very basic in terms of an underground one and has all the things that I covered in the previous tutorial. I want to just demonstrate the traffic lights first of all. So the traffic lights is what we've been talking about this time. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, uh, you know, this one I was using in the previous test. Let's go ahead and set this up like that. And I'm going to go, um, I don't know, uh, station number four. Let's go station number four. What the heck? Okay, there we go. So I'm going to go hop in to my cart and I'm going to go all the way in here. So here we go. See, you got this glass that prevents people from coming in, but it lets you go in with the minecart train, so people won't fiddle around with it. So there we go. Here's the traffic light. It's red. There you go. See it turn green there? Yeah, that means that I'm able to go. Oop. So you got some bump back there, but I'm um, okay. I'll catch up to my minecarts over there that are ahead of me. So that's good. So that's why we have those bump back ramps that make sure you have a one-way ramp that makes sure it goes there. See? A little ding dong noise that's going on. So that ding dong noise is like the metro state that okay, we've got a train. So, so let's say someone's on the track here. This thing will go off, saying that there's a train coming in from this side here, and it'll typically start at some distance from over there. So it's fairly safe, so that people get off the track, and as long as that thing is going ding dong ding dong and the lights are flashing, then you don't stay on the track and you don't in interfere with the train. So that's what that is for, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and see exactly how the traffic light works. So this is the tutorial that's going to be on the traffic light only. I'm going to go through the other features in other tutorials. So right now I'm in spectator mode, so I can just show this a little bit easier. Here's the traffic light here. Now if I go on the other side, you'll see that there is a the setup is like this. Hope, I don't know if the squids are visible. It's not really that great of a view, to be honest. Uh, let's see if I can make this a little bit easier to see. So let's switch over to game mode one again. And uh, I'm just going to bust this open so that you can see through this. Okay, there we go. So there we go. Is All it is is a redstone current going into a block which has a redstone torch on it which has another block on top of that. And this block here has a redstone lamp that's uh, uh, next to it. And then this block here has a redstone lamp next to this block on this one here. So that way what happens is when you have power going into this block and it gets hard powered because this repeater is hard powering it, that feeds power into this redstone lamp and also makes sure that this redstone torch stays off. Then what happens is when the power in this goes off, that turns the redstone lamp off turns on the redstone torch, which then hard powers this block, which then would power this redstone lamp. So that's essentially how it works. And then all you have to do on uh, the inside here, let me just open this up, is we're going to be using stained glass. So we use red and green stained glass to indicate red light and green light or stop and go. And of course, I'm using this white stained glass so that it's easy to see through uh, you know this where this light is from here because it's not really that visible behind you know an opaque block so you don't want to use an opaque block 
but you want to be able to see right through this so that's why i use this white stained glass i find it looks a little bit better it matches with the uh diorite in this case if you want to use a transparent completely clear glass you know go right ahead uh, i would suggest using uh, either that or white too now this line of redstone that's feeding into this repeater that comes out from your processing ramps latch this latch that basically tells the processing ramp or basically activates it and deactivates it so it'd be coming out from this redstone torch right here and feeding up and over into the repeater so if you want to determine where to build a thing, all you have to do is hop into minecart and then let it shoot out like this. And we're going to end up going over your buffer ramp and over to your processing ramp. So it goes up and over and then goes up and over it stops right here. This essentially is where you want to have your reference point. So once you've done, done that, you can just go one, two over and this is essentially the best point where you'd want to keep it you want to, if you want to put it down there one more you know go you know all power to you feel free to do so if you happen to think that that's a better position uh, i just suggest going you know from here one two over and then that will be where you have your traffic light now in order to build a traffic light these are the things here in my heart bar which you would need you would need your regular building block which i'm using polished diorite you would need some redstone dust a redstone torch a redstone repeater, two redstone lamps, one green stained glass, and one red stained glass. Now, when building this, we can build this for both the processing ramp and the buffer ramp. So, I don't know if I mentioned that was only for the processing ramp, but it's actually for the processing ramp and the buffer ramp because people can stop at the buffer ramp too. So, when, when you're building this, remember, let's say that your cart starts here. So, we're going to go two blocks out from there, and it's going to be somewhere around here. So, let's pretend this is a wall that we have right so i'm just gonna pretend this is a wall that's already there just to make it a little bit easier to see and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this out from here and that out like that and we're going to put our let's say we put our lamp somewhere around behind you know, around here so let's do around here right so we take this out take uh, that out uh this can go over here and we're going to close up this little hole here just to make it look nice okay oh one thing i almost forgot is my my white stained glass because i'm gonna need that and we're gonna put a glass like this uh, it's a green one then a white one and then a red one like that okay over here we put our other redstone lamp okay now over here what we're gonna do is we put a block here another a torch here and then another block on top and we put another block here just to make it so that that redstone torch is hidden okay now what we have to do is we have to take a line of redstone that comes up into this block right in here so we're going to take this out comes like this and then it comes out like that we're going to take a repeater put it in there and then make your line of redstone that goes all the way into your redstone torch that's on your latch so now it's stopped and now it's going to go see it turns green so that's it for today's tutorial i hope you guys find that I'm useful and be able to use it in your future builds remember we're going to continue on with the other smaller features in the next future tutorials please check the effects sign off please remember to like subscribe and hit that notification button i will see you in the next video peace